you know, there are a lot of people taking uh, an aspirin a day. And there's some interesting information I want to share with you. When you evaluate something, you're always comparing two or more things, right? If I were to tell you, for example, your blood sugars are 250, right? And you didn't know what normal was, you would say, well, okay, was that, uh, that sounds good, 250. I'm good with that. But to really evaluate blood sugars, you need to know what normal is, right? So normal should be something like 80. 250 would be off the charts. That would be diabetes. If you had a business and one of your statistics was success stories, and one of your staff came in and said, hey, we got 10 success stories this week. You'd go, oh, that's great. Until you find out that last week you had 100. That's really bad, right? So when you're evaluating something, you're always comparing it to something. If I were to tell you this amazing benefit of taking this baby aspirin every single day would be the reduction of a cardiovascular event by 17%, you would be like, wow, that's amazing. Let me take that aspirin. But if we then gave you all the data, the risks as well, that might change your mind. In three major credible studies, which I'll put the links down below, this is what they found. Benefits, 17% lower risk of cardiovascular events, but they also found a couple risks. Number one, they found a 47% higher risk of GI bleeding in your intestinal tract, which by the way, can then increase your risk of dying from internal bleeding by five to 30%. And on top of that, they found a 37% increased risk of developing intracranial hemorrhaging, okay? That's bleeding inside your skull. So this is just another really good example of the importance of having all the data that is correct when you're evaluating something. And so many times when you're researching things, they don't really give you the whole picture. You have to dig and try to find this data. And now I wanna give you some additional data, um, some data on natural COX-2 inhibitors, which basically will help reduce your inflammation data on olive oil, which can reduce inflammation without the side effects. We have olive oil, turmeric, ginger, and green tea. If you're new to my channel, getting on a healthy keto diet and doing intermittent fasting is another very, very no-brainer to help you drop inflammation systemically through the entire body. Hey, before you go, if you're benefiting from any of my content, I would love to hear about your success story please share it in the link down below.